I'm Monica Mangan, and I believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. I show people how to get Pinterest-worthy spaces that are just right for them. This doesn't even look like our house. Are you Whoa. kidding me? <laughs> give me one weekend, I'll give you five projects, and you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. I'm back in Philly this weekend helping out a homeowner with her master bathroom renovation. And I'm gonna tell you guys right from the start, some of you may see this and think, uh, that space doesn't need a renovation, but it does, and let me tell you why. I always, always say that your space needs to be right for you. And for this homeowner, it's just not her style. So this weekend, our goal isn't an entire gut or overhaul of the bathroom, but it's to get this space aligned with her style. Welcome to my bathroom. It's very pretty. It I, is. It's just not pretty for me. That makes sense. I totally, <laughs> totally get it. I do. Don't, and you don't have to feel bad about that. Like, I think that sometimes people feel like, you know, they have this space and it's pretty, so you have to like it. But mm -hmm. if it's not your style, it's not your style. Hi, I'm Kara. I live in Philadelphia. I've tried very hard to make the bathroom my style. It just still doesn't really seem to be the best that it could be. And I think with Monica's help, I'm really looking for her to steer me in that direction to get me over that finish line. And I could not be more excited. When I purchased the house, the contractor that had flipped it, these were all of his decisions, so okay. lots, lots of cream. There is a lot of cream. I mean, the floor is cream, the walls are cream, and your shower is cream. And I'm guessing cream like isn't your jam. No, I'm definitely more of a, a gray, blue color palette. Mm. This is very warm. Like, you know, even the vanity tone is very warm. Yeah, I mean, all I did was paint the wall and add some of the artwork and tchotchkes. Yeah, so there's certain things in here that obviously we can't change in a weekend, but there are ways that I think we can kind of enhance the good things in here and the space and the size. And also the cream won't look so bad if we combine it with the right colors and the right other elements in here. I think by the end of the weekend, it's gonna be something that you actually like. Yeah. But bathrooms are a big undertaking for a weekend. So I'll grab Jason because we're definitely gonna want his help on the first project, which is demo. Oh. So as part of the loadout, your vanity is actually gonna go. Okay, okay? good. And your medicine cabinets. All right. These are not doing you any style favors. I'm, I'm totally on board with that. All right, cool. Got it? So Jason's already gone underneath, disconnected, and shut off the water. I wasn't sure if this was coming out or not, um, but my parents had mentioned that if it did, they have a place for it. Oh, perfect. So it, it's gonna have a new home. There we go. Got mom and dad a vanity. Look at that. <laughs> We are gonna be getting rid of all your wild tile and all this like decorative bull nose. Really? We are. How can you easily do that in a weekend? I never said it was gonna be easy, <laughs> but <laughs> I said we're gonna do it. We're just gonna remove the bull nose and this little piece here, okay? Okay. And then we are actually gonna go right over top of this tile with Wayne's coating. Oh, wow, okay. Okay. This face is going to look one million percent different at the end of the weekend. All right. Bye-bye, cream. That was not, that was not hard at all. That was not hard at all. <laughs> nice and easy. This was used to cut the grout out, but I can't get deep enough to get to the drywall. So I'm going to use something that's a little bit longer. And we'll be able to get past the tile right into the drywall. That's why it's a multi-tool. And... Wiggle up and down. There we go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at all of that's gone. Wow. Cool, right? That was pretty easy. That was pretty easy. Yeah. I'm believing in the actual weekender. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to have to make this a week long project. Yeah. I promise you. So let's get the rest of it down. We'll get it cleaned up and then we can start putting the space back together. All right. Exciting. <laughs> All 
All right, so we are gonna work on the wainscoting that's going to cover up the bulk of the wall tile. Is it covering up where the mosaic tile was or it's going just to the top of the big square? The big squares and the border we took off. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're gonna basically cover up all the destruction and damage that we did with this here wainscoting. Okay. So this comes in four by eight sheets. It's super easy to work with and we're just gonna cut it to size with the circular saw. Great. I measured when we were up there, we need to cut it at 48 inches. 48 inches. All right, so basically in half. And then that smaller piece will be much easier to get upstairs to the okay. bathroom too, okay? Okay. Okay, so we'll release these, we'll move this aside, we'll put these over and we have a couple more pieces to cut, okay? We've clamped our level to the wainscoting to create a guide for our saw so we have a perfectly straight cut every time. It's a great little DIY trick. All right, we got it all cleaned off. Now we're ready for some paint. I'm so excited. This is gonna be like the biggest impact in your whole entire bathroom. Any guesses? Are you nervous? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> the good thing is I do know, and I think it's gonna be awesome. So, ready, and... Oh, wow. That is very different. It is very different. This is the opposite of cream. Yes. <laughs> How do you feel about this? I think this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> yeah. So this is kind of like, I hadn't really told you this yet, but I was going for like a dramatic sophistication in here. And the lower half of these walls being dark is gonna bring in a lot of that feeling. The best way to paint wainscoting isn't with a roller. It's actually with a brush. It'll allow you to easily get into all the grooves. Cool. Okay. So these have dried up enough with the first coat. We'll do the second coat once we get them up on the wall. Okay. So that's what we're gonna work on now is actually installing this. You can already kind of get the idea. Um, it looks incredibly different. The texture, the color, just adding this breaks up the cream that's still in the shower. Yeah, absolutely. Here's how we're gonna approach this. So when we were downstairs painting, I had Jason kind of prep for us. So what he did do was put a piece of drywall covering where the mosaic was. Basically, where we ripped out the drywall, he put a new piece of drywall. We're actually gonna start by putting a piece of trim up, and then we're gonna go with the wainscoting. Okay, and how are we, how does this st 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 <laughs> stick to the tile? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're actually gonna use adhesive. So, we chose one that's gonna be okay with humidity and water, because this is a bathroom, right? and also work really well between multi-surfaces. And then also tack in just a couple tiny nails, but that's not for actually holding it, that's just gonna hold it while the glue dries up. Perfect. Okay? Where the screws are, I know that there's a stud. Good. That was really easy. Not as hard as it seems, right? No, not at all. So we're gonna butt this up underneath and against here. Don't worry about it sitting perfectly on the floor. We know this is level. The baseboard molding will follow along the floor and that way any uneven gap, you won't even know it's there. This is the next piece. Do we know top, bottom? Okay, good question. So if you look here, it ends with a bevel, okay? Wayne's coating starts with one side unbeveled and the other side beveled. First wall is done, what do you think? I think it looks great. I think the color, when you see it butt up against the cream, it seems to flow really nicely. The texture adds another element. Yep, and the seams look really good. You'll never know, we'll come back and caulk a little. And once we get rid of this purple tone, this is gonna look so different oh still. Gosh. What color is going on the purple? You have to wait and see. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> So this morning's project is gonna kind of finish our wall transformation. So what we're going to do now is actually wallpaper above it. Oh, what? the whole room. The whole thing. Wow, okay. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, all right, let me show you what I picked out. All right, so. Ooh, wow. It's gorgeous it's really and pretty. different. I it's, like it. Do you kind of see what I was thinking here? Mm -hmm. This gray is the same color as the wainscoting. Then we have the cream, but suddenly the cream is looking amazing. Yeah. And texture, feel it. Yeah. This is like really nice wallpaper. So wallpapering is very simple. It's cutting, measuring, gluing, popping on the wall. 
we're gonna work off this plumb line here and that will ensure that our pattern is straight the whole time. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna start in the corner but not use the corner to keep us square. So the idea here is that we're gonna cut our piece long. There's a little extra on the ceiling and the bottom and then we can go back in and trim. Okay, so we're gonna apply the glue with a brush. You wanna make sure, of course, that your edges have good coverage. You'll see in a minute, we're gonna let this sit for five minutes and let the glue soak into the paper a bit Okay. And before we put it on the wall. We're actually gonna do what's called booking it. Oh. So we are going to fold up the end together. You don't have to worry about it getting rest. stuck together? Nope, we're gonna let this rest for five minutes. So you can put that piece over there and we'll keep cutting and keep prepping. Putting up our first piece, this is where our plumb line comes in. So I'm putting it on the plumb line. So I'm working from my plumb line, pushing Ow. over. And pushing over gets all the air bubbles out. Okay. Okay, so this first piece is on. Now the key with wallpaper is to match your pattern. So now we don't want overlap. We just want it to perfectly meet the other piece. Okay. Because if there's overlap, you'll see it. All right, now you can see the pattern continues yeah. right in the middle there. What do you think? It looks good. I love the antiqueness of it. Yeah. I was gonna say antique -y. It looks a little vintage, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's divide and conquer. One of us can cut, one of us can glue. We'll just keep banging this out. Great. Hey there. Hi. All right, hold one second. Okay. Cool. So I have been prepping a project that I'm gonna have you help me with, and okay. I think it's one you're really gonna love. Um, we are going to make you a bath caddy. Oh, cool. All right, so this is actually, I don't know, maybe you've seen them, but it'll go across your tub. Mm -hmm. So it can fit a wine glass, your book, your Kindle reader, whatever you have. Okay. And I noticed you have candles all over your house. So we're <laughs> gonna kind of do some inset candles as awesome. well. Awesome, this sounds great. So what I've done first is figure out our center mark. Okay. okay. This is a piece of oak, so it's a little bit nicer wood. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna water seal it and stain it when we're done. Great. Okay. Um, the first thing that I want to start with is the wine glass. All we need to do is trace it. Okay, so the idea here is that you would take your wine glass and slide it in and it's gonna sit kind of right here. Oh, okay. okay. What we're going to use is a paddle bit and we're gonna create a hole, okay? And then we'll connect it with a little opening. So the glass slides in and it sits. Perfect. All right, we'll see. So that's a solid red wine glass there. Yes. Woo! Look at that, right? That's perfect. So where we put this, it's right at the edge of the tub, so mm -hmm. it, it won't tip or tilt. It's okay. It means I just have to drink it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so next we'll do our candle holders, and for those, we're actually gonna use the paddle bit again. Okay. But we're just not gonna go all the way through mm. because I wanna sink them in just a bit. So they have a little bit. Yeah, base. and you know, okay. votive is like just about that size. So we have some candles, we have some wine, and now we need to make an area to hold your books or magazines. Okay. Okay. So for that, we're gonna make it basically two pieces of wood here that it fits between. So for the back here, we're gonna cut it at a 15 degree angle so it leans back just a bit and has like that perfect book angle. We're gonna cut it down to about five inches. We're gonna put a piece of the smaller wood in front as a lip. Because if we just make something to rest on, it'll just flop. Okay, so first we're just gonna add a little bit of wood glue, okay? For this, we are also going to tack it in, and the reason I'm gonna use a little brad nail in it is just to hold it in place. Okay, so we have wine, candles, book. This is perfect, I'll, I'll see you later. You're gonna, you're headed to the tub now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, what I'm gonna do is have you stain this, okay? And okay. we'll get it ready. I got some stuff to finish up up Great. in the room, and I'll come down and get this when I'm ready. Okay. All right. So swapping out your vanity is a great way to make a high impact change in a bathroom and it's not as hard as most people think. You need basic plumbing skills so that you can detach and reattach your plumbing, but it's pretty homeowner friendly. I've picked out a sleek black vanity for Kara's bathroom and I think she's gonna love it. It has a ton of built-in cubbies and organizers right in the vanity and 
soft clothes. For this vanity top, I went with a white solid surface stone. I felt like the white would be a really nice contrast with all the cream going in here. We have a white tub, a white toilet, and now white countertops. So we're minimizing the cream as much as possible. I think if I brought cream in here, Kara would maybe want to kill me. <laughs> When you're choosing a faucet, there's a couple things you need to think about, and it has to do with your countertop. So this one has one, two, three holes and an eight inch spread. So for example, some come and they only have one hole and you need to pick one of those. Some come and it needs to accommodate a plate. There's a whole bunch of different styles. So you just need to make sure you know what you're working with. And then when you go to Lowe's, you can pick out whatever style fits that specific installation. I chose the oil rub bronze because it's going to match the other light fixtures and things I'm bringing in, but also because we're kind of marrying new, like black and white kind of sleek with old. So you have two choices for your sinks, generally speaking, an undermount or an overmount. And that has to do with where it's gonna sit on the countertop. Is it gonna sit on top of the countertop and rest there? Or is it gonna be kind of hidden underneath? We went with an undermount because I think it has a little bit more of a modern feel and we're trying to mix the old and the new here. Jason needs to reattach the PEX. So instead of copper or PVC, we have PEX and it's much easier to work with. Super homeowner friendly and contractor friendly too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Jason's gonna hook all that up. It's super simple because this was already a two sink vanity, so we're really just reattaching everything. So I worked my best to make this cream disappear as much as I possibly could. So on the count of three, you can open your eyes. One, two, three. Wow, this is incredible. Holy cow, it's amazing. This is in my bathroom. <laughs> Part that blows me away the most is that I can't believe we did it in weekends. Yeah. It was, it was an undertaking, that's for sure. And what do you think of the new vanity? You didn't see that. I feel blown away. I feel absolutely blown away. The vanity, that big, brown, chunky cabinet that was here, this looks custom. It looks like what should have been here the entire time. <laughs> it's the perfect mix of old and new, which okay. is definitely my style. This one has a combination of drawers and open storage, and I really like that because it makes the piece not feel so heavy. Yeah. It like breaks it up a little bit. There is still some cream in here. There How is, do we feel about there it There is still some cream in here, but it works. And now I don't hate it. Honestly, the thing that's working for everything is the wallpaper because the wallpaper has the gray from the wainscoting, it has cream, and it has little bits of white in it. So we were able to marry all three of those colors. When I first saw the color on the wainscoting, I wasn't sure how it was going to work, but then when we started doing the wallpaper, it made complete sense. Okay, you started seeing, seeing what I was selling you, yes. buying it. I just can't believe this is my bathroom. I love the, the caddy. Didn't that turn out so great? It looks great. And after all the work this weekend, mm -hmm. you deserve a nice hot bath. A nice hot bath. I said I was going for dramatic sophistication. Do you think, how do you think I did with that? I think you absolutely nailed it. This, it's me in a nutshell. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> Guys, that was a pretty crazy weekender transformation. I would love to know what you think of this wallpaper and the wainscoting and just the entire makeover. So leave me a comment below. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to the Lowe's YouTube channel. You don't want to miss a single episode of The Weekender. This weekend I'm in LA helping out Katie and John with a master bedroom makeover. And this is not just any Katie and John, this is Katie and John of the YouTube channel Luster Lux. She's a super YouTube famous beauty blogger. We are actually going to build a set of doggy stairs that lead up to your bed. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Diva doggy, yes. here you come. Whoa. Oh my God. This looks really good. Wow, this no looks so cute.